No timeouts here now. We gotta get a shot here. Final seconds. For the win! If you guys are looking for a stacked NBA 2K or Fortnite account, make sure you go to sportstmb.com. That's right. No more Twitter. He has an official business website, sportstmb.com. There you'll be able to view all the accounts, see the prices, and get what you need. The link is in the description. Go click it and see what he has to offer. You guys thought I was lying about 21,000 likes and we will make a 5-7 post-scoring sharpshooter and grind him to 94 overall to get double takeover. Now I made him on a backup account because my main account already has 10 players and that's the maximum amount you can have. And in the process of grinding him, we went into the rec center and it just so happened. We get matched up against D-Man, a verified YouTuber and somebody that competes on the pro-am scene quite regularly. They got a really good team and we knew as soon as we saw the matchup that it was gonna be a tough game. Anytime you got a midget running the point, it's gonna be tough. Now we got four defensive builds surrounding the midget because we gotta protect them. But as you can see, I averaged 29 points a game on a 5'7 player, which is not bad. I'm the only 5'7 player out there that commands a double team. Let's put it like that. Now check it out. Obviously they got D-Man, verified YouTuber, and the rest of his uh, his boys running with him. So look at right off the rip. Look at the spectacular 360 reverse layup. This game was full of highlights. I'm not gonna lie. It was back and forth. It was crazy. But as you can see, double team right off the rip. They both jump at me. I hit the cutter, and that's gonna be the theme of the game. I don't know if it's because they saw, like I'm I'm the only shooter. Like everyone else is a lock. If I'm the only shooter, or if they saw because I averaged 29 a game, or whatever the case may be, but they were double teaming me all game. So if you're expecting me to drop 100 points or something like that, it's not gonna happen. I was trying to be smart. Look at the dots. They rotate down to the cutter, throw it to the opposite corner for the open three. I was neat. I had to use my playmaking ability, make the right passes, make the right reads. Now, obviously, I love to score, but. As a 5'7 player, if they're gonna hedge out and double team me and the, and the center's gonna try to step out and guard me, I'm not gonna be able to get, get good shots off. So I gotta be smart and make the right passes. I'm not gonna be able to force stuff. Now, as you can see again on the pick and roll, the center steps up, leaves locked down open on the cut and I hit him yet again. If they keep stepping out like that with both dudes trying to contest my shot, I gotta hit the cutter or the popper just like we did right there. So we're actually down three here. It's not too bad. Kick out, I finally get my first open look and we knock it down. Now this was a back and forth game right off the rip. You're gonna see D-Man comes right back at us, goes to the left hand layup over our rim protector and gets it to go to go back up 16-14. So like I said, it was back and forth all game. Now despite having a 5-7 player at point guard, we had, you know, we were just finding ways to stay in the game. Lockdown gets a steal here. He's gonna get fouled, get to the free throw line. It's kind of like makeshift, just make it work. You know what I mean? Obviously you're playing a comp team with a 5-7 post scorer at point guard. <laughs> It's not going to be smooth. It's not going to be a clean, perfect game where you're executing to perfection. You got to try to make, you gotta just got to make it work. Now, I know a lot of people probably thought I was lying in my last video when I said 21,000 likes and I will get this dude to 94 overall. But I don't know if you saw, we're already a 90 and I made them like two days ago. Not even about to hit 91. We're going to get double takeover and you're going to see the power of five foot seven post score takeover on the park. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. Back to the gameplay. Frank's gonna catch it, ball fake, drive in, go for the dunk, put us up by four. Now with two minutes left in the second quarter, we're making a nice little run. I'm gonna get a steal here with the little guy. We're off in transition. Can I make the right pass? I'm gonna hit Cloudy in the corner, down to the paint, get another dunk. That puts us up by six. Good run here, but they're not going away. They make a risky pass, but it pays off. They get the layup, 26 to 22 now. D-Man's gonna back it out. He's on the ice, so look at how spectacular his player is, man. Dunks on two people, gets the and one. They go up 27 to 26 at this point. I'm gonna throw it to the corner on the rotations. He's gonna ball fake drive in, get the layup. Now, remember what I was saying about just kind of makeshift, trying to just make it work. Nothing's really going to be that smooth. Well, we see they put the point guard on Frank, who's a rim protector here. So we're going to throw it into Frank and actually just let him isolate the guard in the post. And he does a beautiful spin move into a drop step, gets him up in the air, goes up for the layup, gets it to go right before halftime. So we go into half with a one point lead. Now, lockdown is the one setting the screens for me. And since his man is double teaming me, I'm hitting him. He's either shooting the shot 
or taking the dunk. So that was our offense mainly for the first half. You see he has 16 points off of that as well. So we assume they're going to try to take that away a little bit and possibly leave me open or the corners open a little bit more. So we're using the screen here, a little bit of zigzag action. Don't be mad at me. See, I get open, pull up and hit the three. The center didn't step out on me, so I was actually able to get a shot off. Now, obviously, I need to be wide open on this little dude. If I'm not wide, wide open, it's going to be heavily contested. So I got to be careful. I can only take really smart shots. If you've never played on a 5'7 player in 2K, I definitely suggest you go try it. It is a challenge and it's going to test your IQ. Your shot selection has to be perfect, otherwise it's going to be heavily contested. Back to the gameplay, shot clock winding down, force him into a difficult off dribble shot from three. We get a stop. Now stops are going to be key, obviously, because we're offensively challenged, no doubt about it. He's going to foul me on the ensuing inbounds. Back to the pick and roll game. The center steps out on me this time. I hit lockdown. He's patient and he gets the layup. They're going to come right back with pick and roll of their own. We get a little mixed up. Their big man gets open on the cut, gets a two hand dunk. Coming right back at him. We're going to hit the back door cut out of the corner, get a dunk of our own. Back and forth we go. We go back up by two. Now, remember how I was saying D Man's player is so spectacular? Well, check out this move, bro. He's going to snap it back, cross over, drive in, windmill on our rim protector. I mean, D man, take it easy. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Now check it out. They're back on offense. I'm gonna come up with a decent contest on him somehow. I don't know. Out it to me, throw it ahead, throw it to the corner. Beautiful ball movement, and we hit the green from the corner, giving us a three-point lead. That was that was a huge stop. Good execution in the transition game. That was beautiful. I gamble for the steal. It goes right over my head. No surprise, I'm so short. If I was taller, I think I would have stole it. Now with 30 seconds left in the third quarter, they make a stupid reach and foul because we're in the bonus. I go to the line and knock them both down, putting us up by two, but we don't end this quarter off very well. Check this out. We gamble for a steal, which we don't get. He's going to drive in, draw the defense, kick it to the big man. They get a two-hand dunk. Now, back on offense, we're still running our pick and roll, pick and pop kind of thing. I have no stamina, so I need to get rid of the ball. Throw it a lockdown. They rotate. They get a contest. Rebound, outlet. They get a dunk. Just like that, we give up four points in a matter of maybe 20 seconds, and we go into the fourth quarter down by two. Now, if there's any player in 2K history that you want on your team in a fourth quarter of a close ball game, it's my post-scoring sharp. We make plays. Read those passing lanes. Get the steal. Tom Brady, Hail Mary pass up court. We make the extra little pass and get the dunk to go up by one. Now, like I said, they're basically trapping me off of the pick and roll, pick and pop, and I'm so small, I can't get a shot off. So I'm trying to find other ways to impact the game, like getting steals and assists and stuff like that. So check it out. Shot clock winding down with seven seconds on the shot clock. I get the ball. Again, somehow they're super worried about me. I got two guys on me. Lockdown's wide open, top of the key, and he hits the three to cut into the lead. Now, remember what I said about taking smart shots, otherwise it's going to be heavily contested? Well, yeah. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. Lockdown comes up with a clutch steal. We're all in transition. He's going to throw it to D-Lo. D-Lo with a one hand and one contact dunk to tie the game. He makes the free throw, puts us up by one. Now check this out. Their center is going to get into the paint, draw the defense, kick it out. D-Man, open three. Two minutes left. Bang. Clutch three-pointer back they come on offense they got the stop they're still up by two this guy gets a crab dribble i hedge over we force him into kind of a tough shot we force the stop get the ball back we throw it ahead but it's not really on so we're gonna slow it down and make sure we try to tie the game here only 50 seconds left in this one and we're down by two again kind of getting trapped so frank's gonna get out of there I got no stamina, bro. The whole game, I got no stamina. These dudes are way bigger than me. Kick it to the corner. Inside the lockdown. Two seconds on a shot clock, and he gets the contested layup to tie the game. Now, they got the ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock. 25 seconds on the game clock. D-Man's going to drive in. It's not really there. He's going to kick it out to the corner. It's still not really there. They're like, all right, let's reset it. Open guy in the corner. His foot is out of bounds. And it's our ball with 15 seconds left. Now, if there's anyone, like I said, in 2K history that you want on your team in a close game in the fourth quarter, it is number 24, the midget, five foot seven, post-scoring sharpshooter. He makes plays. He finds ways to win games. 9.6 seconds on the game clock. Tie game. Dribble to the right. Hesitation. Drive in. Step back. Come to the left. Pull up. Fade away. Contested. Bang! The clutchest player in 2K history. Look at him, pointing at the crowd, hyping him up, even though there is no crowd in the rec center. But he does it anyways, because that's the type of teammate that he is. One second left, throw it in, doesn't get the shot off in time, ball game. 
the midget post scoring sharpshooter with the clutch bucket to win the game I can't wait to hit 94 on this guy and show you guys 5-7 post scoring takeover in the park it's gonna be hilarious man please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new I appreciate you guys watching the video you guys have a good weekend I'm out peace